So I've lost the game with this. This is how I've lost the games, the second game. Hello guys, this is CRG, turn up the game. So I played two games in a local championship in Romania against a guy called Gabriel who is really a pro user of the 5-3-2 formation with a tall and a fast strikers in attack and I'm gonna show you the games that made me broke my mouse because it's so frustrating playing in this formation especially if you prefer speedy players. Let's go! So guys, before I begin I must tell you that uh, yeah, this is how my mouse looked by the way so I had to buy another one and uh, it was not cheap. Anyways, don't get angry at video games because it's only a game. I know I tell, my, tell this to myself every time, but... Okay, let's watch the games together um, and uh, yeah, we will comment on them and see exactly what I mean by frustrating, being frustrated. I know I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining, by the way, about 5 2 It's part of the game, so it is what it is. Okay, so I'm using the 4 2 one, 3 formation. As you can see, his win percentage is amazing. 65, I guess, I, if I remember correctly, if I saw correctly. He's a really good player. Okay, so now I'm trying to defend as, as good as, I, as well as I can. There was a fault here, but you could easily see it in 5 3 2. He always has a lateral defender who is free. So he can easily uh, send a cross to the tall striker in the box, and that's gonna be a goal. And let's see how this will happen, because it will happen soon. So now I'm trying not to defend with my um, primary defenders because I only have four defenders. So I'm using 4 2 one, three, uh, with Sierra and uh, with um, I think an engine in the in the middle. So you can see that there is a guy. So there is a protector that is always uh, or yeah producer that is always free to pass the ball to a tall striker. He has the guard there to to pass it from the first touch. So now I'm trying, I'm trying to do my best to defend, but now he, I think he will pass to my, to the bulldozer who actually shoots through my Voyager and it's 1-0 for Gabriel here. Yeah, we shake hands, a uh, very respectful, respectful group of people. So now, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm using an intruder in defense because I see a lot of speedy um, players, I mean, users of speedy players in, um, as opponents and yeah, the gate crasher as a defender. By the way, after I've lost these matches, I've totally changed my formation. I will show my new formation to you at the end of this um, this video. Until then, let's focus on the game. So as you can see, he has a protector there who passes from the first touch to co the commander who again passes from the first touch. A guard really good at that. So And again, this um, defender who's a lateral defender for him, the protector again free on the sides. So this is the big advantage of 5-3-2. Because the uh, okay, and now the commander will pass it to the to the bulldozer, and it's 2-0, easy. So the trick in 5-3-2. Let me make a pause here after I shake hands. Let me sh let me. So uh, even even if you even if I've lost and I was really frustrated, I shook hands with the guy because he is a really nice guy, and of course he, it was definitely his. Um, I mean, he won without me having any chance, so he, he totally deserved it. And the advantage of 5-2, as I said, is that the lateral defenders can turn into attackers at any point and you will be outnumbered in, in defense because uh, you will always have protectors on the sides who will pass from the first touch. Okay, let's focus on the next game. So in this tournament we play two games and the, the goals are added up. Uh, in one game I start and in the other one he starts. So um, he told me after the game that my players are really prone to errors and I believed him and that's why I've changed my formation to one that he suggested and it worked really well. Okay, and now Zimmer, I really enjoy the fact that he can send long passes, especially to the jet. But in this game I didn't have this opportunity as you could see. So Zimmer now passing to, to, to my Jebe, who will pass um, to the wizard again, who chose to pass from the first touch. And now I'm gonna try a long pass to the, to the jet there. And he will get first to the ball, but I believe he will lose it. No, he will not lose it. And now I'm trying a pass to Jebe. That was a good pass actually. I. Frankly, I have no idea why Jebe didn't shoot from the first touch there, but you, near, you know in, in, in score match you can easily lose games by mistakes made by your by your players. I mean, it's, it's a common thing. And now his explorer passes to the commander who passes from the first touch, and now I have the upper hand because my voyager is next to his bulldozer, so he will get my, the ball first. Uh, that's what I thought, but um, my voyager defended to, uh, chose to um, make a tackle in thin air there so i i'm a little bit amazed by the stupidity of my voyager there and now the commander passing to the protector again passing back to the commander i believe yes so they pass from the first touch and this is really important in 532 and this guy gabriel again he is a really good user of 532 i've never beat him I, I, if i if i remember correctly i've lost all the games against him 
It is what it is. And now let's see. Okay, the wizard did not make a mistake there. I prefer so called the hammer to the bulldozer in uh, in the middle of the field because he doesn't lose so many balls. He lost one here, uh, definitely. But you know, so I was lucky here that he hit the post with the prowler. He and the prowler is a really good shooter. And now the explorer. I always. Um, have a really high pulse when the ball gets to the explorer. So you could see here that my, my, my players have lost a lot of balls. I mean, this is something that you can't really control only if you choose to play a players that uh, pass from the first touch. So if you didn't see the Tiki Taka formation, the Tiki Taka episode from us, see it, it's really good. You can learn a lot of things from that. And now he has a commander in attack and definitely this will be a goal. A commander and, or, and a bulldozer and the bulldozer is there to... to to make it 1-0 for Gabriel and at this point I was really really angry, I started to be really angry and uh, unfortunately for me I played at my desk and the mouse was there close to me so after the game I smashed it and um, yeah, you, you saw the results. Um, actually uh, it's good that I <laughs> didn't smash my phone or the tablet. No I'm, I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that because it's shared with Madeline at least the tablet. The phone, eh, you know. And now I think this is gonna be the second goal for him so the bulldozer Passing the ball to the... Uh, I don't even know what he has there. The Prowler, yeah. And the Prowler will shoot from uh, from a distance. Penalty. I was already angry here. I didn't care. And I've lost it. So I've lost the game with this. This is how I've lost the games. The second game. Gabriel, don't get me wrong. You totally deserve the win. Uh, I mean, he beat me without me having any, any chance of, of beating him, really. So uh, he was a lot better than me, but uh, this is the episode. In this episode, I wanted to show you how um, balanced the 5 3 2 formation is at this moment, and I really think it's OP. But again, I'm not complaining, it's part of the game. I'm free to use the 5 3 2 formation if I want, but I don't like it. I like uh, speedy players, and I like the jet, and I like the intruders. So, but nevertheless, I've changed formations a little bit, and this is how my formation looks right now. So you can see that I have one commander as a central attacking midfielder who will pass the ball from the first touch. I know he will not, uh, and you will come and tell me, hey, but he doesn't come uh, as, um, as as good in attack as the hammer. Yes, this is true, but uh, the co I don't really need him because I will have my, my bulldozers, my bulldozer and the hammer to come and join the attack when the time comes. And definitely with the jet and the intruder there, it's a very little chance that they will uh, wait for the other players to come in attack. So they will solve the attacking by themselves. And as you can see, the biggest difference is in the defense. So right now I still use the gate crusher because I don't really have a second protector. So if anyone wants to help me with a protector uh, at least level um, 9, I would be very grateful to get him. Uh, but um, I'm using the Voyager still, so it is the, my number one defender. And on the sides I use a protector and a warrior because they will not lose the ball as uh, fast as the other uh, defenders, especially the explorers, which I'm not using at the moment right now. So yeah, this is this is the team. I'm having a lot of um, good games with it. It's very very um, similar to uh, five three two, but it has five defenders. I know uh, four defenders instead of five. So. The two lateral defenders are the ones that are not speedy, but are the ones who will pass the ball from the first touch, and I can actually build some some great momentum in attack. So, guys, this was the episode. If you've enjoyed it, leave a comment down below, uh, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to CRG. This is really important for us because we are really close to 5k uh, subscribers, and this is important for us. Don't worry about Madeline. He's safe. He's healthy, but uh, yeah, I was at home and I wanted to record this episode uh, because it was my matches and he was not here next to me. And guys. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy in this period is really important. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Uh, thank you for sticking with us and uh, bye, 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 bye. This was the bye, bye. <laughs>